Hello and welcome to Rouse Rising. My name is Katie and today I am reviewing for you this Casa Brews 3700 Pro Espresso Machine. This machine makes espressos, cappuccinos, and lattes. It has really simplified the process for me and my husband to enjoy a delicious cafe quality brew here at home. We live way far away from any of the cafes in town, so it's not very economical for us to make a daily trip to the coffee shop to get delicious coffee. So here we have the ability to do that with this machine, and I'm gonna show you how to brew a delicious latte. The first thing I did was turn the machine on. We want the machine to preheat, so we turned it on using this button, and then once all of these are lit up, we know that the machine is preheated, nice and warm, ready to go. Let's go over the parts of the machine. Back here we have a water reservoir, and I noticed that this lasts for my husband and I for about four days. We can make as much espresso as we want to before we have to refill the water reservoir. Right here we have our milk reservoir. You can unlock it and remove this from the espresso machine and place this in your refrigerator so that you can have nice milk for your next brew. Here we have all the features on the front and it shows you exactly what to do with the directions. You press the button once for a single and you press it twice for a double. This dial shows you the pressurization that occurs and it goes all the way up to the espresso range and that is where you want it to make a delicious pressurized espresso. This right here is easy to remove and then we just bang out the contents into the trash can wipe it out and it is ready for the next use. So to get started, what I'm gonna do is turn on my scale and I'm gonna start measuring out the appropriate amount of coffee. So this machine recommends that for a double espresso, you use 13 to 15 grams of coffee. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that amount right here to measure. And we're gonna do 14 grams because that is right in the middle. The type of coffee that you wanna use is up to you, but you wanna make sure that your coffee grounds are as fine as salt. I have already done that here and pre-blended my coffee to be the correct consistency for this machine. You have two options for this machine. You can make a single espresso or you can make a double espresso. And I already have the double espresso insert in here. This is a double walled insert. That means that you have your pressurized strainer right there and then it has another single hole that your coffee is gonna be forced through which is gonna give you the crema on top of your coffee. So this is the single insert that can go in here. But as I said before, we have the double insert. We're gonna make a large cup of latte. Before we get started brewing our latte, I want to pre-warm my cup. So I'm going to insert the espresso filter device and I'm gonna put my cup underneath. With that, I'm gonna hit the espresso button twice and that's gonna turn it green. And that's gonna fill my cup with hot water. In addition, it's gonna heat the filter as well so that I have nice piping hot coffee. While that warms, I'm gonna fill my milk reservoir with some almond milk. You can use any kind of milk you like, but because I am dairy free today, I will be using this almond milk. So we're gonna fill our reservoir, or not fill it, add as much as you like, but I'm gonna go ahead and dump this whole little carton in here because when I'm done, I can place this back in the refrigerator and save this milk for my next latte. This is gonna be the frothing device that is gonna warm my milk and dispense it into my coffee cup. We place this on our stand right here and insert the piece and make sure it is locked in place. We also wanna make sure that the milk dispensing device is aimed towards our cup. Now that this is all preheated, I am going to remove my filtering device 
and I'm going to add the pre-measured amount of coffee grinds to my filter. Remember, you can go anywhere between 13 and 15, whoops, I spilled a little bit, 13 to 15 grams of coffee. And it's okay if you make a little mess, no big deal. So this is gonna hold about 13 grams. There's a little bit left over in my bowl here, but we just want to make sure that we get it nice and level first. And then we're gonna use our tamper that came with our Casa Brews espresso machine. And we want to really pack this coffee in tight. The reason why you wanna pack your espresso grounds really tight is because the water is gonna be forced through this under an immense amount of pressure. And in order for it to work correctly and dispense the correct flavors through the machine, you have to make sure that your coffee is really packed in there nicely. Also, just wipe off your edges of any extra coffee grounds and get those out of the way before you place the filtering device back into the machine. You wanna make sure that it is all cleaned off. I'm gonna remove my warming cup with the hot water in it and I'm going to place the filter device back in there. There we go. I'm gonna dump out my water and place my mug back underneath. The next thing we wanna do is select exactly what it is that we wanna make. I want a double latte, so I'm gonna hit this button twice. And that's going to steam and froth the milk. And then it's going to make the espresso. And there you go, a delicious cup of latte. Mm. It's super hot too. Oh, that's so good. So there you have it. You can make espresso, cappuccino, or a latte with this machine. And if you want to make an Americano, what I suggest is after you have done the double espresso, that you do a single espresso and that will dispense a little bit more water through the coffee grounds and that's gonna give you a delicious Americano. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this Casa Brews 3700 Pro espresso machine. It's been amazing and we have really enjoyed using it in our home. Make sure you check below in this video's description for a link and a promotional code just for my subscribers. Thank you all so much for watching today. Bye.